Okay, so we're going to do math two, and we're going to try and share a screen via AirPlay, which uh, seems to not lock up my computer quite as much. So we say screen mirroring with the iPad, with the MacBook, and try that, and let's see what we get. Yeah, so it looks okay. Now, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to use our values in the table uh, to make a graph and to then do standard form, factored form, and vertex form. So let's see if we can do that uh, for one, and then our assignment maybe will be to do it another couple. Uh, and so we say, well, what is uh, what is our y-intercept? So our y-intercept is at zero three. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that at the end we're going to get a plus three there, right? The standard form is going to have the plus three. And now we want to see if we can find um, our symmetry. And so we say, oh, zero, three, and minus four. Okay, so let's say, so um, I guess these are at one, two, three, four. So there is our symmetry. So we've got the symmetry of uh, zero, three, and minus four, three. So knowing that, we're then confident that our line of symmetry is x equals minus 2. Okay, And so we say, well, what do we get from minus 2? So, so the vertex is minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. OK, so it looks like I get to you know, start off with an easy one to do. Right? OK. so. Let's see what the if we can find the zero. So when y is zero, <coughs> so we get one of the zeros is at at minus one zero. Oh, oh, and the other one is at minus three zero. Okay. So if we have that, if we have minus one zero and minus three zero, can we get the factored form? Okay, so remember we were working on that a little bit yesterday. So we say, okay, so this looks like it would be x plus three. So one of the answers would be minus three and x plus one. All right, so now we want to see can we find that coefficient? Can we find the coefficient there? All right, so let's give it a try. And so we say, well, what do we need to do? So we will go ahead and say, it's going to be, so if we put in a minus two, we want to get minus one. So minus one equals a times minus two plus three, minus two plus one. So minus one equals a times plus one, times minus one equals minus a, and so a equals one. So we, we don't have to do anything there, so that, that's nice, right? So our factored form is x plus three, x plus one. Okay, so can we get the standard form from that? So then the standard form, we just multiply that out, so we have x squared, okay, and then plus plus, so it looks like plus 4x plus 3. Okay, so does that correspond to what we're seeing? Okay, so let's just try that. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 3. So we say, well, it certainly works for our y-intercept. And let's see if it works. And we solved it for, uh, well, so let's try for minus 2, minus 1. So minus 2 squared plus four times minus two plus three. So four minus eight plus three equals minus one. Okay, so it seem, seems to work, that standard form seems to work. Okay, so what is our vertex? So our vertex, vertex equals minus two, minus one. Okay. So we're saying, or x plus two squared minus one. 
is our function. Let's see if that works. So if we put in minus two, we get out minus one. And let's see what happens if we put in zero. So if we put in zero, we get two squared minus one equals three. Okay. So I say, well, that seems, seems to work as well. So that's gonna be our assignment for today is to uh, work on, on their assignments there. So let's give that a try.